Well, hello and welcome. I am Nate. I'm going to be your host for this Elite Home. Yes, this is called the Elite. It is a three bedroom, two bath home. Now this is version 9, hence the name Elite 9. Right, so this one is a really nice 1980 square foot home. It's got a very unique layout to it. As you can tell, the front door is over there. So instead of entering on the side of the home, you're gonna enter on the end, which changes up the whole layout of the home. I know y'all are gonna like it. Wait till you see the kitchen on this thing. Yeah, it's awesome. Great big window here. So here's a better look at that window. Something similar to that, that's in your living room area. Here is your back door off of your, excuse me, your utility room. Had a brain fart there. Yes, that is an all glass back door. These are really close together, so I'm gonna get real quick on the back side here. Now I know y'all are wondering, okay, so you're saying this is such a super nice home, really unique layout. I'm gonna probably want this home. Where can I find it? Well, I appreciate you asking. So you can find this home at Homes by Vanderbilt here in Sanford, North Carolina. Now I do have to tell you, they only service the North Carolina area. We need to get up on the porch and we need to show you what's, what all this home has. To start with, you got this really nice end-to-end, -end, or I should say side-to-side -side front porch with all kinds of recessed lighting. We are about six foot wide on the porch. Perfect spot to hang your swing. Set you a couple of rocking chairs. We've got this really nice three-quarter glass on the front door. Now, as we're inside the home, this is your entranceway. Really nice flooring on your entranceway here. There's your front door with that three-quarter glass. Nice closet right where you can come in. Now, it does have the vent right here. As these are all modular homes here, so they, of course they have to meet state code instead of just HUD code as a manufactured home would. I know some of you guys want to know why the difference in price. You know, outside of the crane it has to be used to set up a modular home. There's other codes that have to be met. So we're going to come over here, check out this beautiful little archway. You got this pony wall that kind of sets everything apart right here, separating your dining room from your entranceway. And then we're going to come over to the dining room area. Now this is a very large dining room area. Nice recessed, or tray ceiling I guess you could call it. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say recessed, but it is the lighting that's recessed. That's what I was trying to say. With the beams that run across, it looks really good. And then we've got our bar area, or in this case set up it to be a wine rack. With the wine chiller, a couple of cabinets on each side. Throw you a couple bottles of wine in there. This will be the same thing on the other side. You got this little display area. A couple cabinets down below with the drawers. A 
So this door is locked, so I can't get it open, but that's what you got there. Now for our living room. Now I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, well, this looks a little familiar. That's because there are, it bears resemblance to the other homes that bear the same name, the Elite. We've got a really nice entertainment center over here. Great big windows on each side, letting in you a ton of light. And then you've got your windows that you can open back over here. This is an extra large living room area. Now from your living room, <laughs> we have the kitchen. We've got seating for four across the raised portion of the island or bar. And I was wrong, that is not coming off your utility room. This is coming off of your kitchen, this all glass door right here. So I really like this uh, island right here with the raised bar. It looks really, really good. Of course, you've got lots of cabinets in it all the way around. The sprayer faucet with the big farmhouse sink. Your electrical outlets are in the raised portion of the bar. And then we've got our wall of cabinets over here with our stove and our microwave. Now this one didn't have these soft closed doors. I'm sure you could easily option that in if you wanted them. And on the back side, we've got a whole stack of drawers over here. Nice big corner cabinet. Love the dark tile backsplash I used. And we've got great big drawers above all your cabinets. And then you've got your pots and pans drawers down below your stove. That looked like a piece of furniture in there. Because they used some mirrored furniture in here something i've never actually seen before you know kind of like uh this guy right here yeah got mirrors all over it anyway back to the home tour he didn't come to look at furniture he came to look at a home so we got to move on into our utility room here Nice big counter with the sink in it. Full size washer and dryer hookups right here with the wire rack above it. Once again, big deep cabinets. And you could easily put you a stand up freezer right there. Just got to get a plug in put in. And this is your utility room or utility closet, I should say, with the water heater. And then coming down the hallway a little bit more, we've got the bathroom over here. Decent sized counter space, little pony wall dividing the toilet off just a little bit more. Hello, Raiden. And in this one, they went with a different style of one piece shower tub combo. 
Now they've seen the soaker tubs and the other ones that are narrow at this end, wide at this end. This one is kind of oval shaped. Really nice to see the different options that you can get for your shower tub combos. And we can't forget the linen closet. And then bedroom number one. There's your access to your attic. And we've got really nice long closets in here. And bedroom number two. this great big master bedroom. And once again, here's some more of that uh, furniture with the mirrors on it. Like I said, something I have never seen before. The only other time I've seen it, I shouldn't say never seen it before because I saw it yesterday when I was here filming in another home. So what do you think about these mirrored end tables and dressers? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, don't forget to check out this bathroom. <laughs> we got to check out the bathroom first. Got sinks on each side of this kind of recessed and raised counter here. individual vanities got another cabinet on the on the side over here and behind you you have another cabinet with another set of drawers and your water closet is behind your bathroom door And then behind door number two, we've got this really large walk-in closet. See what I mean? It just keeps going. <laughs> now I have seen some of the closets where you've got the long rack and then the you got the shoe rack down below, so I bet you could probably option that in if you needed a shoe rack. And now, the star of the show. Well, besides me. I, you know, I'm kind of the star myself now. <laughs> Not really, but... Really nice glass inlay. You got the overhead rain shower, the wand over here. You've got separate handles for each one of them, so it's nice to see. And what else would be really nice to see is a bunch of comments down below on what you think of the home. I know this home is really nice. I love these Elite Series homes that they have here. 
This is the third one. I still got one more with the Elite name in it to go. Stay tuned to the channel. It may or may not be up there. I know y'all are going to want to see it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Actually, I've already seen it. But that's beside the point. You haven't. And like I said, don't forget to uh, comment down below what you think of the home. While you're there, make sure the subscription button is gray, not red. And uh, notifications are turned on. That's what I was trying to say. And I will see you in just a fraction of a second with some price info on this home. All right. So what did you think? I hope you all have left me a comment. If not, you better when I get done here. So I know you want some pricing information on this home. So we'll get to that here in just a few seconds. I got to give you the disclaimers. So this is at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. They only service the North Carolina area. So keep all that in mind. With that said, this is at time of filming in October of 2022. Prices may vary over time. Of course, you know that prices go up, they go down. So this may or may not be the price that you pay when you come to buy this home. So the base price on this home is $240,000. The price as shown on this home comes in at $293,000. So you only got about, well, not to say only, but you know, 40 to 90, you know, $50,000. So there's only $50,000 in options in this home. I've seen homes where they got $100,000 in options. So you get a lot of home for just the base price of this home. But I do appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a good night. Bye.